Hi everyone, my name is Eric Mendelson, executive music producer, artist manager, and the CEO of Recordgram. There are millions of people around the world that have a burning desire to be a music artist. However, they either don't have access to quality producers or they can't afford to pursue a career in music. The solution to their problem is Recordgram. Recordgram is an all-in-one mobile production marketplace, a recording studio, and a social network that allows our users to create original songs with award-winning music producers for under $5, all from the palm of their hand. Our users can discover beats, they can write songs to those beats, record songs to those beats, shoot a video to it, which they can then share across Recordgram's social network and all of their other social networks, instantly turning their friends into fans. Recordgram breaks down barriers and empowers anyone, regardless of where they live in the world or how much money they have, the ability to awaken their inner musician. So let's meet one of those musicians. Meet producer Tony Fad. Tony comes from a small town in Russia. He owns expensive studio equipment and he makes amazing beats. But the problem for Tony is that he doesn't have relationships with artists to sell his production. So he downloads and uploads his beats to all the online platforms in the hopes of getting discovered. And he even gives his beats away for free. Now let's meet our other customer, Willie, the artist from New Jersey. Willie doesn't have a lot of money. Apparently Willie's chains must be fake. He's always dreamed of working with his favorite producers, but he doesn't have access to them. And even if he did, he couldn't afford their production. So he downloads and plays with karaoke apps, but he's not satisfied because he's unable to create original music until Willie discovers Recordgram. Recordgram solves both of our customers' problems. We're the user-friendly, convenient, and affordable solution that connects producer Tony with aspiring artist Willie. The bottom line is, we make money for upcoming producers like Tony, and we provide access and save money for guys like Willie. Now, I know this may seem like a great hypothetical use case, but it's actually a true story. Today, Willie goes by the artist named Fetty Wap. He's one of hip-hop's biggest artists. He's had five top 10 records over the last year. His gold chains are actually real. And his first single was produced by Tony, who he discovered through an online platform. The power of Recordgram is being able to bring that discovery process and collaboration process to the mobile device so guys like Tony and guys like Willie can make amazing music. So how about I show you how the demo works? To my left are both of my co-founders. I have Grammy award-winning music producer DJ Blackout and multi-platinum recording artist Mims, who's going to demonstrate Recordgram for you. Take it away, guys. Okay. As an aspiring artist, the first thing you'll do is come to our platform and go to our music page to download an original beat. So let's find a beat, Mims. Coincidentally. So he selects the beat and it loads up into our recording studio and he adds his vocals. I go by the name of Mims, AKA Mr. This Is Why I'm Hot. Coming to you live from TechCrunch 2017. This is why I'm hot. I don't got a rap. I could sell a mill saying nothing on the track. I represent New York, I got it on my back. People say that we lost it, so I'ma bring it back. I love Tech Crunch, cause y'all show me love. The ladies start to bounce as soon as I hit the club. And in the Midwest, they love to take it slow. And when I hit the H, I watch them get it on the floor. So let's go back to the deck. So now they're gonna create that. Coming to you live from Tech Crunch 2017. This is why I'm hot. I don't got a rap. I can sell a meal saying nothing on the track. So now he's going to create a video. And while he does that, I want to talk to you about our monetization structure. Our producers pay us $9.99 a month or $90 a year to upload their beats to our platform. And when those beats are leased or sold through our platform, we take 20% of that in-app purchase and we provide 50% back to the producer as a royalty. Our go-to-market strategy includes affiliate marketing. We currently have 10 confirmed music marketing companies that are all prominent companies in the music business that are out there being our evangelists and promoting us across their social networks and, da and database. We also have eight field reps across the country located in major markets having one-on-one -on -one conversations with music producers and artists at conferences just like this. We also have established relationships with the following celebrities you see on the screen. When these celebrities reach out to their fans, we believe their fans are going to react, and they're going to react by downloading the Recordgram app. Our competitors are either web-based production marketplaces, meaning you can buy beats uh, online and then take it into your traditional recording studio, or their business model is heavily reliant on major label licensing, which is extremely expensive. I'm sure everyone knows about Smule and Musical.ly, which are amazing applications. Musical.ly, uh, I think, just raised $100 million at a billion-dollar valuation to give you an idea on the market size. Um, 
both musically and Smule. Smule raised uh, $50 million. I think they have a $600 million valuation and they're about to IPO, rumor has it. Um, just to give you an idea on the market size, the difference between us and our competitors is that we're focused on the original music creation space, so we don't have any of that overhead that our competitors have. So you guys have created the video, so let's show them what, what's been done so far. I go by the name of Mims, AKA Mr. This Is Why I'm Hot. Coming to you live from TechCrunch 2017. There's a little latency because of the connection. This is why I'm hot. I don't got a rap. I could sell a meal saying nothing on the track. I represent New York. Cool. Just to give you an idea of what you could do with videos. Let's go back to the deck, please. We're going to succeed because we already have established relationships with award-winning music producers. Gentleman who you see on the screen is in our app. His name is Street Runner. He's won Grammy Awards with uh, Eminem and Lil Wayne. Our co-founding team has signed and discovered four artists to major labels grossing over $20 million. We've been in the music industry our entire lives, and we believe that Recordgram is poised for disruption. In 2016, we were part of Project Music, which is the only music tech accelerator in the world. Uh, the companies that have invested in Project Music are some of the biggest record labels and publishers in the music industry and management companies that all have a vested interest in having us succeed. Everyone believes that the cell phone is becoming the new television. We also believe that with Recordgram, the cell phone is also becoming the new recording studio. Please visit Recordgram.com and download the app today. Thank you for your time. Right, what does what the average producer earn their cut off the platform? Or what's the, the, the producer earns the most? What did they earn last year? <laughs> well, so we, have a, we basically just launched our platform okay. marketing about a, a week ago at, okay. uh, at Orlando. But to give you an idea, a, a major label producer like, like Winston, for example, he charges for his beats $10,000 to $20,000 for the exclusive rights to his beat. Through Recordgram, you get that for $3. Um, the, the goal is to scale the platform so that we lease that beat for three dollars to thousands of people, making him, you know, exponentially greater greater amount of money on back catalog that's sitting there collecting dust. Is so, this? Oh, sorry. Um, could this be like the new dub smash? I mean, is this for right? Is this like for people like me who can't sing worth anything, or is it for just the Fetty Waps of the world that are going to? Yeah, it's, I would say it's actually a cross intersection between the two, um, and I would probably more compare us to like a, like a Musical.ly, for example, or an auto rap by Smule or, or karaoke by Smule. Um, we believe that the people who are on Musical.ly, and like I said, there's a hundred, half the teens in America are on it, we believe that there's a percentage of those kids that all have a burning desire to be a music artist, and our platform gives them that ability. So you don't have to be a professional rapper like Mims or Fetty Wap to come on our platform, um, but you do have to have a little bit of singing ability and, and, and a real burning desire to be a, a, be a musician. So a couple of questions. Um, what did you actually build here as opposed to assemble? Is there any technology here that's, that's proprietary? So there's, there is no proprietary, no, we, don't have, we haven't built any proprietary technology. Um, we have filed a provisional patent for whatever that's worth based on the business method of what we're doing. We're the only app out there that has all three things fully integrated, both a mobile production marketplace, mm -hmm. a recording studio, and a social network. That, that's, that's what we're doing differently uh, in addition to the team that we have assembled. What's your marketing plan? So, yeah, we have a really robust uh, marketing plan. Number one, the producers and artists that come on our platform are going to, you know, obviously they're going to spread their content across the platform and bring other people on. Um, we have relationships with celebrities and artists that we're going to be doing contests with, with the labels to also help onboarding. We're also scraping data, and we have a, we have a, about a hundred to 200,000 person mailing list of people that are using, uh, you know, com competing apps in our space. Um, that's just, that's just a start. Obviously there's traditional advertising and we have some other big plays involved. Certainly this platform is pretty what, good for us. What do you think the annual amount is spent in a, on beats in a year? I'm trying to figure out what the market size is. You're obviously disrupting the pricing. Yeah. What's the market size? Uh, you're talking about on a per consumer basis or? No, just to total market. I'm just trying to, if, if the addressable market is that this is going to get commoditized and you're not going to sell one for 10,000, you're going to sell it lots of times for $3. Even at the current pricing of 10,000, what's the total size of that market? Well, there's hundreds of millions of dollars that are spent on actually beat buying um, from professional musicians to amateur musicians across globally. So, and that doesn't include them actually paying money to go into a recording studio, which costs a lot of money, or them having to even know how to use a recording studio. We simplify the process in one application. And we also believe that we're, we're, we're going to be a market differentiator for an Apple Music or an Amazon or a Google who want to differentiate themselves uh, amongst their businesses uh, as part of their music strategy. 
So do you make money at the end of the day just by ubiquity, I mean, in terms of scale, or is it ultimately discovering and helping people become incredibly successful and you get fees, and, you know, you're sharing in that? So that's our long tail play, is obviously to have a platform where we can discover, curate, and get the, and get those ta the talent signed to a label. That's, that's an additional monetization strategy that I didn't even discuss. Um, I signed uh, Jason Derulo, who's one of the biggest pop artists in the world. I signed this guy over here, who grossed over $20 million for Capitol Records, and I signed some, some other artist. Um, and he's, he's currently signed to Nicki Minaj, who's one of the biggest hip hop artists uh, on the planet right now. And we have the, those relationships with the labels to get artists signed. That's really one of the things that differentiate us from our competitors. So for some of the, you know, the celebrities that you have involved, um, you know, you've got them signed up, they may do you know, one campaign. What is the thing that's going to keep them coming back and keep them engaged so it's not just a one-off? In terms of getting the celebrities on the platform? Yeah. At the end of the day, it's our relationships. The, the three individuals that you, see on this, that you saw on the screen before, Flo Rida, um, Jason Derulo, and Pitbull, Blackout is actually produced for all those artists. So it, it transcends business. But they owe him. Yeah, they kind owe us. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, they owe us. <laughs> so I have a question about uh, the combination of the of things that you've got. So you mentioned, of course, the recording, the listing of the beats, and then the connecting uh, via the network. I'm curious as to how much of it can be stripped away so that you really concentrate on the matching. Because it seems like the pairing of these unknown talents who have a desire and a drive and hopefully have that, that passion, uh, and then the mating of the beats, like that's the special sauce. Because like, musically is sort of going like, hey, you know, share this with your friends, whereas you're aiming towards uh, make magic. Like find a, find a person who has the passion and the talent and pair them with somebody we already know has the talent. And so I'm curious as to how much of the, like, uh, iMovie-esque aspect of it needs to be there? So, that's a great question that's been brought up in the past. When we, when we thought of Recordgram, the initial um, thought process behind us was to actually make it that utility. Mm -hmm. Make it the mobile recording studio that connects producers and artists. Okay. And, that's, and that's where we started. And then we kept iterating on the product because Mims here said, well, we need to add a social component also, um, but not just limit it to the Recordgram social component, we need to let them share on other social social networks also. I guess it, it just we just feel like it's cooler to have to have a social component. Um, and I, I don't want sit, to hit, sit here and name other apps, but if you look at several apps in our space, the ones that are cool are the ones that actually have a social component to it versus not having a social component. So we felt like we had to add that to our business. But the core part of Recordgram is really that utility function and being able to collaborate uh, from, from Dubai to India to America all on the mobile device without ever having to speak to each other. What do you yeah, think the social component does? For the, you know, I mean, what, what do you think is the point of it besides having it because it's it's cool? Well, it also helps. It also helps scale the app, right? So obviously, our consumers are artists and producers, but we also want people to come on our platform, uh, just regular music fans, to discover and look for talent. Uh, you know, that's 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 the key benefit. That's a, that's the benefit of having that social component is that we can get that mass scale of users on our platform, and then can expand additional revenue streams uh, for that. Yeah. So I was thinking, like, why not then help like crowdsource an art, art an artist, right? So an artist like drops a beat, makes a track, and like the fans are like, that's dope. Like, I wanna I wanna support this artist. Like, why not have the ability to do that there? In terms of them actually funding the artist's yeah. career, well, that's certainly something that we can. That's certainly I'm a fan of what you're talking about, and that's something that we can look into. And I can guarantee you, the artist would love to do, would want the money. So it makes sense. So how much is on the? If someone were to download the app today, how many producers are actually on it today? Is is there enough? content live today for somebody to be able to really use it? Yeah, there's, there's over 700 beats on the platform right now some, some, uh, from some uh, world-renowned producers. Um, we give them the ability to give their beats away for free or sell it up to $5. So it doesn't matter if you're an upcoming producer or if you're a Grammy award-winning producer, um, your beats can't be above $5. Um, and we actually ask that the producers give beats away for free to get people to onboard on, on the application. Um, but there's plenty of content for people to use it right now. Can you talk a little bit about how this matches up with um, the changing landscape of the recording industry? Because obviously the record companies are doing a much more scattershot approach right now, where they're signing a ton of artists for like short-term, low-end deals, rather than really artist building. And how you, like you, you see this as an opportunity to link those two together? Yeah. So. Essentially, we believe that original content creation is extremely important to the music industry. Um, Jimmy Iovine, who's the head of Apple, is now venturing into creating uh, you know, t TV shows for Apple because he wants the TV shows to be uh, a market differentiator between from what he's doing from what some of his competitors are doing. Um, so he's, he's heavily involved in getting original content creation. And we are the music original content creation platform. And we feel that, like I said, any one of those companies that I mentioned earlier um, 
could probably probably want to do business with us because we're really curating talent from an independent level and putting it across all those other platforms. In terms of music disruption, you know, the music industry about 15 years ago pretty much controlled the ecosystem of distribution, um, and then that started that that la that uh, landscape started to shift when Apple really started to control the distribution, and now it's streaming platforms. So the labels are actually losing a lot of the control of, uh, of their distribution channels, and we want to be one of those channels for them. So I'm a big Bollywood fan. So how diverse are like the, like the category of beats that you have? And then how do you think about how you kind of recruit producers across the world? So I think about India, for example, right? Tons of people who love Bollywood, but feels like there's not a lot of democratization, right, of the, the industry there. And a few people kind of get a shot, so. That's an amazing question. I'll let Black out. <laughs> well, uh, not to brag, but I actually currently right now have the number one record in India. We dropped the record uh, about four days ago, and we already have over 25 million views on YouTube. An uh, artist named Raftar. So we are actually really in the Indian market. Um, they love what's going on. They already know that particular artist knows uh, Record Gram, loves Record Gram. We're already in talks and doing a, a contest with him. So I know as far as overseas, we'll be able to pull them in very easily with these artists that we have relationships with. And, and I also want to stress that we don't necessarily cur uh, curate the producers. We let any producer who wants to pay us at $10 a month come onto our platform to upload the beats. We're democratizing music collaboration. We don't want to limit anyone's ability to come on our platform and you know uh, awaken their inner musician. But the difference is, is the producers that are the quality producers, those are the beats that are going to sell through our platform because they know how to market and promote themselves. So any Indian producer can come on our platform. We'd love to have them. Any final questions? Cool. Give it up one more time for Frank Fran. Very cool. Thank you.